in your car, you ain't turning me on Who ain't telling me you want me down? Mm -hmm. Today is Friday, March the 10th I, and this, this vlog is kind of starting out a little frustrating for me For me, at least Because Leo, yesterday when he was at daycare His daycare provider called me and was like you know, she was concerned with Khalil with how he was coughing. She was asking me if he had asthma. And I was, you know, I said no, because he, he doesn't have asthma. Um, but she was just saying that he was coughing and how the cough sounded was worrying her. So I had their dad pick them up a little earlier than usual. So when he got home, I immediately gave him medicine and everything was fine. So this morning when he woke up he's been having this really really bad cough like he's wheezing he's constantly coughing anytime he get down to like run around or something he's like having a hard time breathing his dad went and got him a humidifier and i didn't send him to daycare but it sounded so bad y'all that i just i'm scared so i made an appointment his appointment is at 9 45 it's currently 9 27 so that's where i'm on my way to now so yeah y'all hear him coughing he sounds terrible i hope it's not asthma because i actually had asthma and i still do have asthma right now but i just don't take medicine for it anymore i kind of grew out i kind of grew out of it it's not as bad as it was when i was growing up but when i was growing up i had it really bad like i had to get treatments and take medicine for it daily and when I would get sick it wouldn't just be like you know a cold I would really really be down bad when I'm sick and you know it's not fun it's not fun being able to not breathe you know what I'm saying or if you're having a hard time breathing so you know and he can't talk to me and you know that's my baby so it's just like uh, like you can't tell me how you feeling but I can tell he's not feeling good y'all hear him sound like he coughing up a lung back there suffering so hopefully they can figure out what's going on or prescribe him some type of medicine or give him some type of relief or something on top of that yesterday on my way out the door to go um out to eat with my friend my dad on post was saying like sos at the top well it all my phone kept saying no sim card no sim card found no sim card found and i'm like I have not taken out my SIM card. Like, who takes out their SIM card on a regular? You know what I'm saying? Like, I just put it in when I first get my phone and I leave it alone. But it wasn't detecting a SIM card. So now, instead of it saying like LTE at the top or 5G or whatever, it's saying SOS. So I have no cellular. Like, I can't get calls, make calls, send texts. Unless the only thing that I can do is like, if I'm under Wi-Fi, I can send a text to another iPhone user. But it's just frustrating because like even this morning when I was trying to call and make him an appointment, I had to use my cell phone because I forgot I can't make calls. So I'm going to have to go into a Verizon store today to see if they can give me a new SIM card or something. Um, because I do know that it's a SIM card because I took the SIM card out of my boyfriend's phone and put it in my phone and it worked. So that's where I'm at right now. Just frustrated because it's just like everything is happening at once. I had to take my son's phone just so I could be able to call or and use the map because I don't know how to get to this doctor office. I've never been here. So it's just frustrating, y'all. You don't realize how much you really like need something until you don't have it. Hey, y'all. I'm back home now. So let me give y'all the update because your girl is stressed. So when I first came in there, they had, you know, people working at the front or whatever. And the lady that was at the front, no, she didn't acknowledge me or anything like that. When I came in, she just was like, she took a while to say anything. She didn't acknowledge me at all. She took a while. But when she seen that Khalil kept coughing and everybody was looking at him like, you know, ever since COVID, y'all, everybody look at you like when you cough, oh my goodness, you got a disease. That's what they look at you like. So everybody kept looking at him, making me uncomfortable because, you know, as his mama, I want to be like, well, hey, can y'all stop staring? Because I'm already worried about my baby. The lady, she was like, this is the first thing she said to me. Is he two? And I said, yeah. 
and she gave me a mask. <laughs> but immediately when she gave me the mask, I was like, I know he's not going to keep this on because he took it off immediately. He didn't even have it on his face a second. So then I told her, I was like, he's not going to keep this on. And she was like, okay, just stay over there. Then he was coughing so bad that it took a nurse to come out, take him in the back because they could see how bad he was struggling. So the doctor did listen to him. He listened to him and he said that his uh, breathing was really restricted. So they gave him a nebulizer treatment with albuterol in it. So y'all, that was so stressful because he would not sit there and keep it on his face. So we had to hold him down and he had to have it on his face for him to get the medicine. So we had to hold him down. We tried, it was three people in there holding him down. He would not keep it on his face. So we had to restrain him, which while when we was doing that, he didn't like that. Like he was having a fit. And they, the, the lady said he is the strongest baby she has ever met in her life. And you know, she work in a doctor's office full of babies. She said she never witnessed no baby that strong to where it's like they had to have so many people holding him down. So we got the first treatment. He fought through that. After that, and any time the doctor came in and he saw the doctor coming in, he immediately started whining, having a fit, throwing his head back. So he, he fought so much, y'all. He eventually fell asleep. He fell asleep and then that's what, how we were able to get the second treatment. So I was so happy when he went to sleep because they was able to actually do what they needed to do, like check his breathing, give him the second treatment, um, and check his oxygen. So after the second treatment, he was much better. As y'all can see, he's right here. Y'all, I don't even think he has coughed since I've been talking. Um, so he hasn't been coughing. So the next step is they gave him an oral steroid, which I don't know what was in that, but whatever it was got his ish smelling like like it stink. so they told me that he has to have a treatment every four hours so the last time he had it it was like 10 50 something so the next time he would need to take it it's like 3 p.m but i have to go pick that up from a different doctor's office a whole different city because they didn't have any there then i have to go to the pharmacy and get the albuterol to put in the machine then my dad needed to change my brakes because my brakes sound metal on metal Okay, I need to go to Verizon and figure out what's going on. Well, I know I need a new SIM card, but I need to go to Verizon and actually get one. <sighs> but I'm glad my baby feeling better. But they said that he has to take the treatment every four hours. If he responds good to the oral steroid, they want him to take it one more time Sunday. And I have to take him back to the doctor tomorrow morning at 9.45, which I'm dreading that. I already told his dad, like you might be on duty for that by yourself because i went through so much just with this little <laughs> this boy you strong you know that clear clear you strong big man you're strong you're strong say i feel better and i'm chewing on things like i do all the time y'all know what i'm gonna say this is an excuse i'm gonna give Babe, like, we don't have to take both of the twins there. I'll just stay home with Kaylani and then you can take Khalil. How y'all think that sound? You think it'll work? <laughs> I done had enough. Um, so, yeah, that's what we about to do, you guys. I'm about to go to my parents so my dad can change my brakes. I need to get some food because I'm so hungry, y'all. When I went out last night, I seen this homeless man and I gave my, I barely touched my food. I probably had, like, good, a good three bites of it. And it was pasta, but I gave it to a homeless man. And I'm not regretting it, but now I'm like, I'm hungry and I don't have anything to eat really quick. <laughs> School is out for the kids today. Today is considered a asynchronous day, meaning they do their schoolwork from home. And then Monday, they're out of school also. When I looked online to see what was the reason, because you know, usually you can look it up and they'll be like, oh, teachers work there. Y'all know what it said. March break. March break. Oh. March break, what is that? Y'all just making up breaks. Anyway. Yeah. Nyla, I'm not playing. If you lick me in my mouth, I'm gonna throw you. <laughs> All right. Y'all, I'm at my parents' house. Get my boy, 
Oh, oh, that's what I have my nails. I got chrome, all chrome nails. Yeah. It's giving Jada white eye. <laughs> this one messed up yesterday. Y'all, I scraped these two up. I don't know if y'all could tell. Just throw the whole day away. Y'all, so let me tell you. So, I, okay, so I went into Verizon to get a new SIM card, right? They told me my SIM card replacement would be $10.66. Cool. But then he said in order to activate the SIM card, it will be $20. So pretty much I'll be paying $30 for a new SIM card, right? He was like, well, if you go to a corporate uh, location, you don't have to pay for it. So I have to go to a corporate location because I didn't, if I wasn't, no. Especially, I ain't do nothing wrong. Shoot. Okay, so then I get to my dad house, get my brakes changed, right? So, <laughs> y'all know my phone not working, right? So when I went into, um, I blocked my car so no transactions can be taken off of it. And my reasoning for doing that is because, I, sorry, y'all, I'm holding y'all. And you know I'm driving, but the reason my, my reason for doing that is because I went to dig on Wendy's, right? And the girl was taking a little bit too long with my car. Like it's like she was looking at it or something. And I don't know if y'all saw that episode of um of rap shit where the girl was she worked for the hotel and she would like have her camera rolling and she'll hold her car up. She'll hold the guests that's checking in cars up to her camera and flip it over so she can have a car information and then they she, you know she doing fraud i won't try to have that happen to me no so i'm always cautious of like usually i try to use specific cards but today i use my actual like bank bank card and so i immediately blocked my car because i was like i don't know this girl she just was taking too long with my car and like looking at it and stuff like what are you doing so I get all the way to Advanced Auto to try to get some new brakes, right? I'm in there. I'm like, oh my goodness. I have to be able to unblock my car. And I got to have Wi-Fi or internet to do that. So I asked him, I said, do y'all have Wi-Fi? He said, no. So now I have to go all the way back home to be able to. This is just an inconvenience, y'all. I'm frustrated. Then not only that, my dad had me take the brakes to AutoZone because he said that they replace your brakes for free um with the warranty lifetime warranty and then i go there and he say no that's not true it's only for if it's defective not for wear and tear so now i can't even call my daddy and let him know like this is an inconvenience i need my phone y'all won't believe this do y'all know the whole time i was not even at AutoZone. i was at advanced auto the lady was like this not auto zone <laughs> I'm having a day. I really am. I'm really having a day, but it's okay. So I finally got the brakes. We was able to exchange them for free. Um, now I'm about to go get Khalil treatment. They said that he needed to take his next one at three o'clock and it's already 245 at this point. So I need to go get that. I need to go to Verizon and get a freaking sim card i hope that process do not take long because i'm so frustrated then i need to go to cvs and actually get the medicine for the treatment machine and that's it i can't wait to go home and not do nothing okay you guys so I have somebody staring at me right now so I can't start talking so I'm on my way to Target it's nothing that I need out of Target I just want to go to Target Every week it gives you paper. 
kind of like that. How much is this one? Twenty dollars, and it does not start until freaking July. Excuse me. Like I want to plan now. really like a fun target haul because i feel like i got a lot of like just home stuff but that's what i really needed home stuff so it is what it is so so y'all saw me going this is what i went in there for the always pure cotton i'm trying the this is my second time trying the pure cotton ones well i needed some because i ran out but i'm i'm gonna try to get pure cotton from now on because i was getting the other just regular ones, unscented, but just the, the regular, not the pure cotton. And I just been having some irritation down there. Like, but my skin is very sensitive in general, all around. I can't use anything scented. Um, I just can't. Scented, all that, like all the extra stuff in it, I just can't use it. So we're gonna try that, see if that helped. I bought some Gorilla Glue, you guys, because the handle to our freezer is broken. And a shelf in our freezer just broke. So we're going to try to fix that together. I bought a scrub mommy. I really don't know the difference between scrub mommy and scrub daddy. But I seen that the scrub mommy had a dual sided scrubber and sponge. So I got the scrub mommy. We needed a new iron because the twins have been dragging around the other iron like it's a dog on a leash. So I got this one. And this one has a retractable cord. Mm-hmm. And since they've been dragging that, the other one around, it's not really working anymore. It has like a shortage in the core. So yeah, got some, um, oh, it's windy outside. Why, what is that? I got some more scrubbers for dishes. Got some Swiffer solution, um, but I get the wood because I use the Swiffer for our wood floors more often i don't even know if it's really a difference between the wood one and the other one but i just know they label as a difference so i just get the wood one instead of the regular one just so it won't f up our floors because it's already some parts that's like a little trippy but um i got this one y'all now this is not really for the look it's only for the purpose of it because i really don't like how it looks. it's just given not cute but I got a six shelf hanging closet organizer and I got this because I wanted to, I wanted to start, um, putting outfits for the week in there. So I won't have to worry about it. Really. The only place I really go is the gym, but I don't like having to wake up every day and figure out what I'm wearing to the gym. So if I just do it on Sundays, have everything prep, everything, even, you know what I'm saying? Even down to the socks. That's one less thing I have to do. And I might put the twins um, outfits in here also, being that I'm going to get them dressed anyway. But just put them in there with mine also so I can know what they're going to wear for the week. I got stainless steel cleaner. I like this brand. They have the spray, the wipes in. Well, they have like the, this is, what is the difference? I don't know. They have the spray that has like a nozzle that you spray with. This one is like more of a mist, I guess. And um, the other one is wipes. So this is my first time trying this version of it. I got some Everyday Clean Antibacterial from Pledge. I use this to clean off the table. Got some trash bags. But this time I got the color blue. I would have preferred to get pink, but yeah. I'm not the only one here, so I can't do that. I got one of these to put in the bathrooms because I do have um 
I do have the Bath and Body Works. Uh, what is it called? <sighs> Fragrance things. I have that in each room instead of the twins' room because the twins will take it out and yeah. But I'm gonna put these in the bathroom, and I need to refill one for the garage because the garage was stank. I got two Drano's, one for my sink because my sink is draining and really slow. Noel's sink in their bathroom is stopped up because he decided to allow a full roll of toilet paper to fall into a sink full of water and he allowed it to sit there until it completely broken apart. So now toilet paper is all in the tube and the water won't go down. So we're gonna use this to fix that, okay? I got babe some more deodorant because Kehlani threw his deodorant down the stairs and that was the end of that. I also got a floor ironing board. Well, this is actually a tabletop. It's a countertop ironing board, but we're gonna definitely put this on the floor. But as of right now, we've been ironing on the floor, like on the floor, nothing underneath, just the floor. So I said two years into the home, let us stop being ghetto, okay? Um, New trash can because this is our current trash can and the tw I don't know what happened to the top, but one of them kids do I get I'm guessing that the top must have fell inside and they didn't realize it and they threw the bag away. So the top has been gone and the twins keep taking stuff out and putting it in their mouth. So it was time for a new trash can. So this one has a little footy thing. They definitely thought that I was stealing because. <laughs> I always go to self-checkout in Target. I never use um like uh, actual cashier. And I knew that the lady wanted to check inside the trash can, but what she did was she waited until I turned my head to scan something, and then she just came over there and peeked. Like, lady, you could have just asked, do you mind if I check? I understand that some people might put stuff in the trash can, but baby, I'm not trying to go to jail. <laughs> okay? I wouldn't do well in jail by any means. And the only other cleaner I got was... This one, and this is for the granite countertops. That's it. Not too far, right? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Let's try to fix this handle and see if it will work. I also have my Grinch onesie on today because that's the mood that I'm on. And this is the only onesie that I have. So, let me show y'all exactly what is it doing. So, this handle keeps coming off. So, I'm thinking that if I just put super glue or Gorilla Glue around this part and just let it stick. Because it will, that way it won't come off. I got the clear one. So, it wouldn't show. Well, okay. Damp it for non-porous surfaces only. Metal lightly dampen one surface with water. Do not add water to bottle glue it okay or should i just put it inside of this i can't really like i'm gonna just have to put it on this because i can't really get okay and let that just sit there and dry now this part right here fell off and the whole tray just came out. So we're gonna have to fix that also. So here's the piece right here. Here's the piece. So I gotta see. And I hope this did not get on my hand. Ah, it's falling. I'm supposed to let it clamp objects together for two hours. How the heck I'm gonna do that? I don't know about this one, y'all. Cause I'm not about to be sitting here for no two hours. My food. Hold on. I'm gonna just let it sit there. Whatever. I did my job for the day. I am about to eat my food. I just ordered some Bar Louis, a hamburger, and some fries that I should not be eating, but I'm going to eat. I'm about to watch BMF. 
And then that's it. That's it. I'm chilling. I'm chilling today. You see? You see? I just cleaned. I just cleaned. And you see? Anyway. I need to put all this stuff. I need to put this stuff. Bye, y'all. Khalil his treatment because he oh lord this trash can is already in the wet he's supposed to have it every four hours it's already been past that because he was asleep so the last time he had it was at 11 and now it's six um i need to give it to him and he put it in the sink boo -boo. sink put it in the sink So I just have to put I just have to put the medicine into this opening right here. And they gave me like albuterol vials. So let's see how he does being that his daddy not here. Cause he did good with his daddy, but he wanna give mama a hard time. 
right now he's running around with a cup of macaroni and cheese that I've been trying to get from, from him. Come on, Khalil. Excuse me, Kayla. Excuse me. Excuse me, Kayla. Look at her grown. Thank you. Thank you, boo boo. Thank you. Come here. She just had to turn it on. She tried to get some to her baby. Her, her. Come on. He kind of, he did much better with us than he did at the day. I mean, at the, the, the doctor. I don't know if it's because he just didn't. He was scared of them because he didn't know them or what. But it only takes about 10 minutes, if that. I got the new trash can with the lid on it so that he would stop getting stuff out of the trash. Now he thinks it's a toy. And look, I just cleaned it off and look. He been over here for the past 10 minutes, just opening it and closing it, opening it and closing it. Now he thinks it's a toy. <sighs> anyway. I'm trying to finish this area. And then to take all of this stuff that came from downstairs that don't belong down here, upstairs. And then I'm done. <laughs> I already wiped the table off over there. Put this little sign up that says Sunday dinner. I don't know what I'm cooking yet tomorrow though. So yeah, I need to clean these dishes. And that's soaking cause it was stained. So I'm about to put these up, up now because they should be dry. And then I probably I'm gonna need to sweep because the stuff like on the floor, the floor kind of dirty. Or then we're gonna be done down here. Well, I do want to clean the bathroom, but do I want to do that today? I don't know. All done. All right. Nothing on the steps. <laughs> and I cleaned the bathroom. Everything is clean. It's just the stuff that I was cleaning with and I need to put this in the closet. But everything is clean. I don't, I need to put this away. <laughs> All right. happy Sunday eight o'clock and I'm just now picking up the camera because it's just been so much going on this weekend since Friday since I picked up this camera it's just been a lot going on y'all already saw how my Friday was Saturday I pretty much just spent it cleaning and after y'all finished seeing me clean my friend ended up coming over here you know just to hang out she has twins also um so she just came and we were just hanging out and y'all somebody did a hit and run her car was parked on the street and somebody did a hit and run on her car and it was just bad y'all like it wasn't like they just side swipe her car i wish i do have the video but i don't want to put the video in this vlog because you know it's it's not my car it's her car and I just don't want to put it in the vlog, but um, the people was coming down the street backwards, but I don't know if they were drunk. It was Friday, like 10, it was 10, 10 p.m. to be exact. So they were coming down the street backwards, coming all, it wasn't like they were just backing up, no. They were coming down the end of the street and the end of my street is far away from me. It's a good little ways. They were coming down the street backwards, flying down the street backwards, and they literally hit her car, almost flipped over their her um flipped over their car, but their car didn't flip over. Then they hit a tree and they kept going. And come to find out the person is a relative of my neighbor. So that has just been very 
ghetto. It's really just been messing up my, well, not only just that, but you know, I felt bad. Like she at my house and it was my neighbor family and y'all doing a hit and run. You know, that's just a sticky situation, you know? So it just really had me in a bad mood along with me just doing everything else as far as like cleaning, tending to the kids, the situation with my phone, my son being sick. It was just a lot. So I just was not in the mood to pick up the camera. I honestly wasn't. I just was trying to get my my um, mood right. It's still not right, but I did want to like come and update y'all on why I have not picked up the camera. This is probably going to be a sucky vlog because it's just been so hectic, but I did place the order on Amazon for it because when I went into Target yesterday, I was looking for a new planner. Y'all, I have an obsession with planners, even though I have so many. I just have an obsession with them. But I said, let me just go on Amazon and see what they have. I haven't purchased from Amazon in a while, which I don't know why because I don't know. I personally like purchasing things in the store more. But yeah, so um, I bought this planner. This is the Oprah's The Life You Want Planner. And it is, uh, it's part, it's part weekly planner, part intention journal. So I purchased this. It was $30 off of Amazon. I'll make sure I link it below. But I just liked how it just looked so, um, it just didn't, it wasn't like a flimsy planner. It didn't look cheap. And I just liked the inside of it from what i saw you know sometimes when you order well yeah so when you be ordering planners they really don't want to show everything so this is how it looks without the banner on it and then what is this make living well a daily practice they say um creating your vision statement and I didn't read it yet, but it say like, what would my ideal life look like? What kind of person do I want to be in life? What gives me a sense of meaning, value, and purpose? What can I do now to start moving in the direction of achieving what I say matters? And um, so it has inspirational quotes. Everything is like undated, which I liked. Like it's, you can put the month and date it yourself. Because one thing I don't like is when I have planners and it's like it's like when I went to Target yesterday. Remember, I was showing y'all the planner started in July. So I'm gonna be doing this and seeing what this book is about, and actually trying to start a journal and finish it because I never do, <laughs> never. So that's gonna be my goal. <sighs> you guys. I just been trying to keep the downstairs clean because it just seemed like it just easily gets out of order. So I'm just trying to clean up as I go. I'm not in the mood really to do anything else, y'all. I'm just sitting here watching Aaliyah's face. I'm kind of sad, honestly. When things happen in my life like this, I just, it really like affects me because I'm really like a empath person. So when something happens to somebody else, it really affects me emotionally so yeah um so i probably will vlog through tomorrow which is monday i didn't even edit my vlog that was supposed to go up today didn't do anything so my dad's birthday is tomorrow yesterday i did i mean today i did go to the outlets with my mom i bought my dad some crocs because you know i was supposed to do a tiktok on that didn't even do it I bought my dad some Crocs because he said he wanted some Crocs and I knew he wasn't going to buy it himself. So I bought him some Crocs and I also bought him some. I went to the Nike store and bought him a Nike hoodie and some Nike shorts. And um, I'm going to take his card to him tomorrow on his actual birthday. And I told him I'll buy dinner for him tomorrow. Other than that, I'm not doing anything, you guys. I'm just, I'm just here. Hey, y'all. Happy Monday. Today, it's raining outside. I'm kind of off to like a, the day is kind of dragging. I'm not really all the way there. So I said that today I'm going to juice. I'm going to go on a juicing that, hold on, let me set y'all up. Okay. I said I'm going to juice today because I have not been eating what I should be eating. So 
I used to juice for like a good week. I was juicing a lot and then I was still juicing after that and now I don't juice at all. I just buy my juices from the 7-Eleven but I said, you know what? I'm gonna just, I want to juice all day today, only juicing. So I'm going to make the one that I really like is kale, pineapples, and cucumbers. So the kale is already chopped up. So I just need to chop up this is going to be a separated. I'm going to make two different ones. So this is going to be for one. This is going to be for the other. I, I don't have to cut it up too small. That's good right there. Okay. Huh? So now I'm about to cut the cucumber. Just come, come put a trash bag in there, please. And I'm gonna do half of this bag and then I'm gonna make sure the same thing. So let's go ahead. To me, it takes the most time. So I'm going to do cucumbers first, then the pineapples. And then sometimes it gets stuck, so I reverse it and then I start it back. Well, it's not hard, it's just time consuming. And this whole bag of kale barely makes anything. But I'm only going to use half of the bag for each mason jar. See how rich and green it is? Ah! I know some people like my new friend he does not like the color of um hold on y'all and that's it you guys i'm about to eat me some grapes and i realized i misspoke earlier i said that i was going to be doing just liquid today but that's not true. I'm just going to be doing, um, sorry, I'm walking away to get a cup, but I'm just only going to be doing fruits and veggies. So just fruits and veggies. So I'm just going to be doing fruits and vegetables today and my, you know, a little bit of caffeine. Um, cause I just want to detox you guys. I did not eat healthy this weekend by any means. 
and I was drinking also and I felt really drained today. I'm walking slow because I got the camera, the grapes, and y'all. I mean, the grapes. I got y'all the grapes and the coffee. Um, I just been doing a lot this weekend and I feel like my mood is really off. So I noticed that, you know, of course, as we all know, when you eat healthy, you feel better. So I'm just about to sit down. And eat my grapes and probably watch TikTok, you guys. I just thought about something when I was making my coffee because I always look at my straws before I put it in my cup because I want to make sure ain't nothing in the dig on straw. And this lady said she did. She checked her straw, right? But she never checked her cup. Y'all, she said she felt something in her drink. Why she emptied her drink out? It was a cockroach. Uh-uh. 